Next up is a healthier version of a favorite indulgence. Hi Sharks, my name is Hannah. And I'm Molly. We're best friends from Los Angeles, California, and we're seeking $600,000 for 7.5% equity Woo in our company, wow. Must Love. <laughs> Look at this table of ingredients over here. There are cheap oils like canola and palm and artificial preservatives and flavors. Not to mention monoglycerides, diglycerides, things I don't even want to try glycerides. And you won't believe what these ingredients are for. Medicine? Paint? I got it. Cosmetics. No. It's Ooh. ice cream. Gross, Gross right? right? Ice creams marketed as better for you often have unwanted ingredients, even ingredients made from petroleum, wood pulp, and even beetles. Gross, Gross right? right? <laughs> That's why we created a line of plant-based indulgent treats made with simple ingredients. Must love. But must love is more than just dairy-free ice cream. It's simply good for you fun that comes in pints like peanut butter swirl. Or Molly's favorite cashew cookie. Or Hannah's personal favorite snickerdoodle dough. And novelty bars like dipped crunchy peanut swirl. Or dipped vanilla. Which tastes just like a chocolate frozen banana. But how do we do it? We start with a simple base of bananas or oats and sweeten with real fruit. And from there, we add in all the crave-worthy stuff that you really want in your ice cream. But sharks, we didn't stop there. This summer, we launched Sprinkles! <laughs> <laughs> They're plant-based, non-GMO, and go perfectly with our ice cream. Even the vibrant colors come from plants. Must Love is bringing plant-based indulgence to your families freezer, pantry, and more. So Sharks, who's ready to fall in love with? Must <laughs> love. <laughs> so please dig into your samples and I'd love to tell you about what you have. From our banana line, we brought you our signature dipped vanilla bars and also our cashew cookie pint, which what is- What about the so chocolate this around it? What's the yeah. They're dipped in chocolate, but it's vegan. There's it's no vegan, dairy. It's vegan, there's no dairy. Oh, great. It's very good. Thank you. Very banana-y. Yes, you, you must, must love bananas. bananas. <laughs> I thought it was going to taste terrible. It's pretty good. <laughs> Kevin, from you, that means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to say I'm not vegan at all. And I've eaten so much of this, I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really scrumptious. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. So, um, Tell well, us about you. Yes, thank you. Um, so we're actually best friends who met in undergrad at Berkeley. We've um, been best friends for 15 years. Both our parents immigrated here from Korea and are, uh, started their own businesses, really came here for their American dream. And after we both got our MBAs separately, I was at MIT. You're an MBA from MIT? Yes. What was your specialty or focus? Um, I focused on operations. And I focused on marketing. Jeez. So you're asking for 600,000, 7.5%. That's a pretty punchy valuation. So I'm assuming now this is sold like hot bananas. We launched in 2017. We had $35,000 in sales. And since then, we've grown double year over year. Year to date, we've made $1 million. This wow. Year. We're going to end this year 1.7 in revenue. And that's a very conservative number. And what's your profit? We're running a loss at about $400,000. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, so why so do you why feel the you're running a loss? So the food industry, um, I'm sure you're all aware, you know, it's a really cash intensive business. You know, when you get into a grocery store, you need to first pay for that marketing to be able to be there and to reach those consumers. you're going after the frozen section, hard to displace other products. Yes, we've fought tooth and nail for yeah. every position we've been in and the, the frozen space is very competitive. Where the growth has been is dairy-free and novelties. So that's really our sweet spot of where we're hitting. And we have kept our shelf space in all the new doors. What stores are you in? We don't even know. Tell us, tell so, us what uh, <laughs> stores you're in, what does it cost, and what does it cost for you to make it? We're available nationally at Sprouts Farmers Market and as well as in certain regions of Whole Foods. This year, we launched in Costco. Costco. We tested with them last year and, and it was blew wildly them, successful. Blew them out of the water. They retail for $5.99 on shelf typically, and our cost of goods is $180. So, how much money have you raised, if any, and yeah. from who? We both invested $200,000 of our own money oh, right wow. off the Good bat. Good for you. Okay, you're serious. Uh, we also raised 
in the last five years, 1.4 mm -hmm. oh, from a wow. series from friends and family, and then angels and institutions. What valuation was the 1.4 raised at? We're actually in a seed round right now. That's why we're here. We're here. We're raising at um, an $8 million valuation. So this is part of the seed round Wait, right okay, now. Okay, guys, how could you come on Shark Tank? Yeah. You've, you've watched the show, I, I presume. Yes. Right, knowing every single deal in the history of Shark Tank has been negotiated. Do you not think you're gonna have to negotiate? Yeah, we're ready to negotiate, yeah. and we've spoke with the other investors who have participated in the seed round, and they're very excited for you guys to be they're part so of the seed round. They're so excited that they gave us the exact offer that everybody <laughs> else is gonna get? Well, we're here to get to know you. You're here to get to know us. No, you've known us you for 13 know us. years. You know, to come to us and offer us the same that you're offering the streets, I mean, at least show us the respect of knowing where the value is that we're gonna bring. I'm out. Thank we, you. We really Thank appreciate the feedback. You know, there's two problems. You're not worth eight million bucks. You're also asking for $600,000. Part of your strategy on Shark Tank, you have to decide how much you're asking for. Yes. yes. You're, in, you're in the the top quartile of ask. It's too much for me. I'm out. I just want to say, I've, I've invested in a business like this, actually on Dragon's Den. It was exactly as you've got here, in essence. So it was frozen dessert. What happened to that business whilst the sales were going up, but sadly, the margin reduced? Because as we got into Whole Foods, Costco, and others, and all the supermarkets, they wanted to have the product two for one. They want to have the specials. They want to have the end cap. Every single quarter, another marketing initiative. When the brand then started to actually go down, we had to invest more. We ended up with less than 3 or 4% net margin every single year. What ended up happening was that the manufacturer was making more money than we were. Mm -hmm. And I got out. I almost, I just got my money back. So just because of that and my experience, I'm out. Sorry. Guys, the problem I have, look, the products are good. They're just not differentiated enough. I get that they're clean, natural, wholesome ingredients. Yes. But there are multiple products and the number of products that, that meet that criteria and check that box is growing very quickly. There's not that one trigger that makes someone say, okay, I have to try this. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. You're welcome. Honestly, I think we've captured new customers with very Guys, small the only marketing. Shark well, that matters listen, now is let me Lori. tell you yeah. what I think, okay? <laughs> because I really know this space, actually, yes. because I did a deal a year ago with Frozen Farmer, and we created what we call Frobert, which was a combination of sorbet and ice cream you know, everybody up here at the time said, oh my God, brutal space, you're never gonna make it. You remember that. And, and I was right. it was, no, actually he was wrong. <laughs> it was a hard road, but we're gonna hit 20 million in sales this year. But you are so competitive with my frozen farm and what we're already doing that I would not be being fair to her if I invested in another ice cream line. And so for that reason, I'm out. We so appreciate that. Thank you so Thank much, Lori. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. Good luck. Thank you. For 200K, it's a flyer. I would have tried it. For 2.5%? No, I would have asked for 15%. Yeah, and they would have laughed at you. No, they would have said, Mr. Wonderful, I'll do the deal. And I'd be up there right now, just like what that. What alternate universe would this There's happen in? There's only one Mr. Wonderful. Thank Mom. God for that. <laughs> <laughs>